We begin with you tonight with breaking Browns news. The Haslam say there are two options tonight when it comes to a stadium. Voice of the Browns Jim Donovan is here to break both of those down. Jimmy, what do you know? All right, Christy, a lot of news coming out of Orlando, Florida. That's where the NFL owners meetings are going on. This is important to remember. The Haslam's, D and Jimmy Haslam, have not met with local media since way back in July when the Browns were going to training camp at the Greenbrier Resort in West Virginia. But today they did meet with the media in Orlando. They talked about football issues, but now they deal with the hot issue that is going to get hotter and hotter as the monks tick off and that is the stadium issue and they say two options are on the table right now option number one would be a one billion dollar renovation of this stadium right here the current home of the browns cleveland brown stadium that of course went up in 1999 and has already been renovated at least two to three times one billion dollar renovation this of course would keep the browns in downtown cleveland the second option though that the browns would explore is to build a new stadium a dome stadium that would go outside of downtown cleveland unless the city could come up with a plan and land and financing to help the process and build the dome stadium downtown but remember as we have mentioned in the last few weeks the Haslam's as an ownership group have a very friendly option right now to buy 176 acres of land out by the airport in Brook Park and presumably that is where that dome stadium would go. Those are the two options on the table. And at least this afternoon, about an hour and a half ago, when the Haslam's met with the media, they said no option is better than the other right now. Here's my thought on it. I don't think they want to renovate the stadium down on the lakefront right now. I think a billion dollars to renovate that stadium. I think they're putting that out there as a possibility to let the city react to that. Instead, I think this is a bit of a shot over the bow right now to say to the city of Cleveland, hey, listen, let's get busy on this. Let's get the stadium issue cooking. And if we can't come up with something in downtown Cleveland, then we're going to leave downtown Cleveland. We're not going to go far. We're going to go to Brook Park, but it's not going to be downtown Cleveland. The other thing right now in the NFL, it's important to remember, too. Owners like to build their own stadiums, and they like to develop around the stadium. 176 acres out in Brook Park would give you a dome stadium, and you would get all kinds of events there. But you're also looking at restaurants, bars, retail, things like that, a big development, a football experience, because remember, at its highest level, a football stadium only gets about 10 dates a year inside to have games. That's the NFL regular season. That's the table setting right now. Christy will follow this story. It will get hot as this thing continues to grow. Yeah, no doubt about it. There are a lot of very passionate thoughts on this either way you go. Jimmy, as you know that, <laughs> thank you so much. We appreciate it. We have